Well, hello again, and today on the left we've got a MacBook Air um, with an M2 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, so the basic model. And on the right we've got the Surface Pro 9 with uh, an SQ3 uh, ARM chip in and 8 gigs of RAM. So um, I would, wouldn't say similar specs, or <laughs> they are similar specs. Uh, now FR Studio is native now to, um, to MacBook. Uh, and the SQ3, I guess, is going to be emulating um, x86 mode. Um, there isn't like a, a an ARM version for Windows of FL Studio. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble already. Let's just get stuck in and see how we get on. So three, two, oh, just before we go, the first reading will always be the laptop on the left. The second reading will always be laptop on the right. So the Surface Pro. Um, three, two, one. That's a reasonably good start. They're both more or less in sync, I think. Um, 15, 16 for the MacBook Air versus 19 for the Surface Pro. Uh, 17 for the MacBook Air versus 16. 17 again for the Surface Pro. So 2018, 17, 16 for the MacBook Pro versus uh, oh, I've lost, I've lost where I'm looking, 17, 17, 16 for the Surface Pro, 17 now for the MacBook Air, um, and 17 for the 16 for the Surface Pro. So surprisingly fairly evenly matched. Well, I wasn't expecting the, um, the SQ3 processor to be uh, quite as good at this at emulating, um, I guess, what's a 64-bit um, Windows app. Um, anyway, let's carry on. We're getting into the interesting bit now. 14 on the left versus 16 on the right. 16 now on the left versus 15 on the right. So they really are neck and neck. It's interesting. And now 27, 28 on the left versus 24, 22 on the right. 23 now on the left versus 24, 25 on the right. 20. 1 on the left versus 22 on the right. These are very evenly matched for FL Studio, it's very interesting. 31 now on the left versus 25 on the right. 32, 20 down to 28. 30 now on the left versus 28 on the right. Now these readings are percentages of processing power as gauged by image line on Make FL Studio. So it's a good measure of how a laptop copes with FL Studio. Uh, 28 on the left versus 30, 30 on the right, 28 now on the right. I think, you know, that's even Stevens in my book. I'm going to close it down. That's very interesting. I wasn't expecting the SQ3 to be quite that good um, against um, an M2 processor. Uh, still, that's, I guess that's good news and bodes well for the next generation of um, uh, chips, ARM chips, uh, that I think is coming out fairly soon now. I think actually next week. Um, that's going to be interesting. I'll try and get my hands on one of those and see how we get on um, with that comparison. But yeah, very interesting. Thanks very much for your time. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit the notifications bell. Thanks very much. Bill. Bell. <laughs>